I was just starting with a new podcast in Ableton or mixtape uh, for electronic music and I thought I could show you the important steps in making a podcast or mixtape in Ableton. I'm going to show you how to load in tracks, um, sync them, the tempo, and um, like arrange your podcast and then how you make a transition. So first we try to load in some, the, some of the tracks we want to use um, from our browser, place them here and check out what Ableton does to the waveform and how it detects the tempo. Over here Ableton tells me it detects 120 the overall tempo in the project is also 120 but let's see if this is really true because Ableton messes up fairly often in this step so let's see if that's really done in a good way over here it doesn't doesn't look correct to me so here definitely there's a beat uh, coming in and I'm going to sometimes it's easier to not use the first kick or hit um, but use the 116 bars later and then tell him right click set 111 here and then reverse engineer and see if this is really correct um, let's go ahead a little bit in the grid and you can see it's not correct um, because like it's already off the off the bar over here it's not correct anymore so I'm checking eight bars later this needs to be here actually and um, we see it's actually 123 it's not 120 and then we are going to check in 33 again because that's 1 plus 32 place this here and go to the end and now the algorithm has so much information already and we need to adjust it just slightly in the back and like go out over there and now the trick is you can now actually go back 16 bars exactly 16 bars and put our starting point here double clicking put some marker and now this this is warped good enough for a podcast and you do this with all your files um, sometimes Ableton gets it completely right and you don't have to do anything select complex pro algorithm in order not to make uh, mix up your melodies because the beats algorithm sometimes messes really messes up with with pad sounds and melodies so you want to use pro um, then usually I'm placing the tracks here deck one deck two I prepare those two for now and try to uh, order them in a way that they fit together nicely so I would think okay I could start with this track and then go with that one maybe third one would be this one and then this one could go fourth but sometimes um, you play them after each other and you realize no that doesn't really fit so um, yeah let's change the order and place uh, this one here and maybe this one there and I don't know put this one here and this one there you just need to listen in and figure out how you like it and how it sounds nice to your ears and to your styles and once you decide it um, you uh, go into the arrangement view well that's actually how I do it but, so I select uh, all the tracks I'm going to use and I'm going to place them into the arrangement view now there's something like there's still some stuff from before so I'm just deleting everything over here and doing that thing again um, just like this and maybe start here and uh, unloop and I also what I want to do is uh, I want to uh, first play this track as starting track and then later I want to go ahead and 
in the end of this track I want to start with this track so um, let's first listen into the end <laughs> here so that would be a significant point uh, to mix this is plus 8 this is plus 16 bars and I think I'm going to start here and mix this track over here um, so first we check if the kicks are in sync and uh, looking pretty good and um, if we move in a little closer we could go and adjust a little bit more and I'm zooming out again and now I want to focus on this area over here because that's where actually all the transition is going to happen and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fade I'm f going to fade in the second track and well that looks kind of faded already and um, on both of those audio tracks I use equalizers there's a free band equalizer here's another one and here's my um, specially designed DJ um, effect rack I'm going to show you what this does in a minute and now we just listen to it how it sounds right now So that's pretty rough still. It's quite nice, but it's still pretty rough. So we are taking out some frequencies of the of the first track, and we're starting with the lower frequencies, and we're going to kick them out a little bit. So I'm going down with the low gain in the automation over here, uh, slightly turning it down during those eight bars, and then just keeping them real low, or maybe a little lower even in those bars. I'm going to do something like I'm going to kind of mirror this behavior with this track over here. Um, I'm like gain low this knob is now selected in this area and I'm going to drag this automation down and start at a very lo low point and like move it up from there uh, like this and um, like do most of it in the last few milliseconds so can kick in nicely afterwards and then I noticed um, a little bit of like mid frequencies interfering in this area over here so I'm going to take them out in the original track as well starting here maybe more or less and like be pretty harsh with it in that sense because uh, yeah, there's a lot coming in at the moment this is happening and like do the kind of opposite thing again over here but not that drastic in that case or maybe um, like automated like this and let's listen in again <laughs> So you immediately immediately notice it's a little too harsh. So 
So we are taking back a little bit of the mids over here, taking them up and like putting those in a little quicker and um, doing the same thing probably here, like getting those faster in a little faster. And let's check the low ones over here. That was a bit drastic. So let's check again. Okay, that's a lot better, but you noticed maybe there was a little bit like the beats were kind of off a little bit. You could like correct that over here, but I think this track has a sort of bass drum swing. That's where that's coming from. But uh, there's a way we can get out of this with the effects. I'm going to show you what these effects are doing. I created them a, couple, a while back for a DJ template I made and um, I'm going to show you how they sound and we are going to apply them in this transition. So this is a fade to gray. And Redux. Repeater. And actually all those effects are a chain of uh, devices um, put into one knob, for example, fade to gray. Adjust this delay, this filter, and this uh, reverb, and this utility over here. Yeah, and we can use this effect for, for this transition over here, uh, but we are going to apply it on that track, on the one we are mixing out. So. Um, Let's pull this up, like use this knob in this region over here, and like kind of pull it up. Um, well, I don't know, maybe like in that matter, in that manner. Let's see how that sounds. together you can also do it in the opposite way and um, like go from a little bit of fade to gray to uh, like nothing or maybe let's uh, let's try it like this. Use fade to gray on both of them, and take it down over here. Like get it a little bit up, and then get it up a lot over here, and then get it down there right before we are kicking in to the next bar. Let's see how this sounds. So you see, you can do a lot with those transitions. You could, I think you should in this case, adjust like the beats a little because that's kind of, it's annoying me a little bit here. And um, see. Yeah, so this is how I'm preparing my podcast. Um, and then, uh, well, you would go on with the next track and there are two approaches actually. You can do it with another audio track, insert that one over here and put the third track down there. 
that's how I do it. I'm using the stare down approach because, um, well, you could also use the next track and uh, like place it again on deck one and then try to mix in here, somewhere here in this end of that track. But sometimes the volume levels of those tracks are really different from each other and then you like in that case I couldn't use this control anymore for adjusting the volume so it's getting you have to get a lot more done with automations and I don't I don't I don't like it that much so I prefer working like this the stare down and then like in the end you have a long stare of tracks following each other and you can apply single or effect chains on all the audio tracks after each other. So in the end you have a longer stare and you have a lot of nice transitions and you're basically finished with your mixtape. Select the area and go ahead and export it. So um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have questions leave a comment. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel and if you want to check out those uh, effect controls um, I have another tutorial where I am created as a simple template for DJing in Ableton and you can get those controls with that template if you're interested. So I hope you had fun and enjoyed this and see you next time.